We were going to tear it all down. The Institute, Providence, everyone who'd ever hurt us. We failed. The partners grew paranoid, made sure that Ortmeier's children would never challenge them again. I'm the only one who got away unchanged. The only one left who remembers. Ortmeier was Providence. Everything he did to us, everything he made us do, it all leads back to them. I'm breaking more rules than I care to count, Mr. Gray. What's your play? The partners hide behind a cloak of anonymity. Only one man knows their true identities. Your client, the top controller, the one they call the Constant. He is the key. <laughs> but he is untraceable. So what am I missing? A man would come to the Institute. A man with a Providence pin. The first constant. If we find him, if he's still alive, he's our way in. You don't know who he is, but 47 does. <laughs> That's what this reunion is all about. Show them. You're just gonna hand it over. Our one bargaining chip. Olivia. Fine. 47's memory was erased, irreversibly at the time. But after Ortmeier's death, his estate was acquired by the Ether Corporation. And they made an antidote. It's a long shot, I know. This is not how it works. We don't just join the revolution. ICA is neutral. We don't take sides. I hate to break it to you, lady. But neutrality is a side. It's the side of the status quo. People have died. Civilians. You align yourself with terrorists. Murderers. Sometimes even monsters serve a purpose. Look. Enough. You have a choice. But I made mine a long time ago. I will finish what I started. Subject 47, most gifted of all my boys. So you're the pick of the litter. Tell me about the incident. The subject ran away, he and another boy. The instigator was punished accordingly. As were all the neighbors. My men did what needed to be done. It won't happen again. Bring your house in order, Doctor. You won't like the alternative. Gentlemen, let's go over the plan. The first constant is none other than Janus, the legendary Cold War spy master, a KGB senior officer and head of the sixth column special branch at Lubienka. Janus is a certified genius and expert of counterintelligence. He retired from the KGB in 1988 when he fell out of favor with the Kremlin and defected to the US. Shortly after, the Soviet Union collapsed. Now, it is unclear when Janus stepped down as the Constant, but since 2004, he has been a resident of a quiet community in suburban Vermont. Mr. Gray. Right. So here's the catch. As an elite KGB agent, Janus was trained to withstand interrogation and torture. No amount of pressure will force him to disclose information he doesn't want to. Instead, we will need to search his home for clues. But if Providence learns of our presence, the game is up. 
So we frame Janus, make Providence think he was the real Shadow Clan. Correct. I will file a false ICA report, claiming to have traced a number of calls from Janus's house to the Institute in Romania. The case will seem clear. Mr. Gray was only a figurehead. Janus was pulling the strings all along. And by eliminating him, we will have neutralized the militia once and for all. However, for this subterfuge to work, you'll also need to deal with Janus's security detail. A Providence Herald and former Secret Service agent by the name of Nolan Cassidy. Intel describes him as diligent and inquisitive. And we cannot risk that he contradicts our story to his employer. Seems workable. I certainly hope so. Everything depends on this next move, 47. You made this our fight. Now let's even the playing field. Whittleton Creek, Vermont. On the surface, a picture-perfect suburban dream. Wide roads, golden maple trees, and verdant lawns. Most residents here are white-collar professionals, ranging from university staff to government employees. Most, but not all. Janus's unpresuming home is protected by a host of bodyguards, and intel shows that the fragile former constant rarely leaves the property. Nolan Cassidy, on the other hand, roams the neighborhood streets. A recent arrival, the dutiful Providence Herald is busy making threat assessments and settling in with his security team. Now remember, this is about more than just revenge. Janus is the key to bring down Providence. So get in there and find us a lead. Good luck, 47. Forty-seven, I have marked your map with several points of interest. We're running this mission with very little upfront intel, but these locations could provide clues to help you obtain the information we need. Good luck. That is Nolan Cassidy, former Secret Service agent and current Providence Herald. Cassidy is assigned to protect Janus. Same guy who just hit Cassidy's, right? Yeah. So, I let him use the green shipping container to store some chemicals. <laughs> Apparently, there is a fumigator in town. He's working on a house belonging to a James Batty, and has previously been working on Cassidy's house. The fumigator has stored some of his chemicals, a strong sedative, in a container in a vacant lot near the creek. Sounds like this could be useful, 47. Nothing to do with poisonous assured me that it was only a sleeping agent. Get this, he told me that he doesn't kill the bugs, he only sedates them so that he can set them free later. Let me get this straight. 
He's an exterminator who cares about the lives of insects. What a weirdo. I thought so too. But then, he told me this story about his pet cockroach, Pedro. It was genuinely a touching story. His parents were poor and couldn't afford to buy him a dog, but he found this cockroach in his room one day and he took care of it. Pedro lived in a shoebox and he even made a little leash for him so he could take him walking. They did everything together until one day he heard his mother scream from the kitchen where he had left his pet while he went to the bathroom. He rushed to the kitchen where he found Pedro pierced under one of his mom's stilettos. Oh, great. Now I feel bad for all the roaches I've stepped on. Yeah, Doc, I know. This fatty guy is driving me crazy. Every time he sees me, he comes out and wants to talk. And the problem is he just won't shut up. He's always ranting about that damn lawsuit against Janus and waving piles of paper at me. As if I give a rat's ass about their problems. I'll let the judge sort it out. What, what, what? A lawsuit between Janus and a local resident. It might be just what we're looking for. Batty lives in number 432. Hi, Doc. Sorry, I'm just stressing out here, okay? Please, do what you can, all right? I'll talk to Probably just tired.
Janus is apparently engaged in a civil lawsuit with another resident of Whittleton Creek. James Batty, the plaintiff, wants Janus to stop his annual landing of a helicopter near the local creek. The lawsuit also mentions Nolan Cassidy and his unlawful surveillance around town. Hmm. So Janus takes a helicopter trip once per year. I think we're on to something here, 47. 47? I think it would be beneficial to locate the unlawful surveillance mentioned in the lawsuit. Perhaps Nolan Cassidy's house would be a good place to start. Suit between Janus and another resident. Might be a good place to start your investigation into Janus's life, 47. I suggest you look closer at this James Batty fellow. I thought this was supposed to be a quiet Saturday, but there are just so many letters. I got a package for Batty as well. Did you know he was engaged in a lawsuit against Janus? That old Russian guy I talked about? Oh, oh. Hmm, a recording of some sort. The note mentions another house. Perhaps Cassidy is using one of the vacant buildings as a base of operations, 47. Hmm, a letter from Janus to someone called Zoe. It looks like a draft and is full of explicit descriptions of how unhappy Janus is with Zoe and his sister having been appointed chairwomen of the Ark Society. Huh, I've heard that name before. This is a good find, 47.
Hmm, a recording of some sort. The note mentions another house. Perhaps Cassidy is using one of the vacant buildings as a base of operations, 47. This is Nolan Cassidy of Whittleton Creek. I want to speak to the man in charge. That's you? Very well. Listen, you people completed your work on my album last week, but there's still all your machinery cluttered. Bring up my dark. I talked to your man to explain to me Oddball nurse has added it. Oh, yeah, the bird guy. Oh. Yeah, he's still sitting there most of the day. I don't know what he's reading, but it's. Looks like it's the most interesting thing he's ever come across. The new contender snow novel. Flavors of past shimmer. Something like that. See, my wife's reading it now. I can't get her to do anything around the house. No, no, it's not a novel. I think it's a, a journal or a, or a diary. He's one of the security people working over at that old Russian guy's house. That's got to be something from the old man's archives. Oh. If that's one of Janus's diaries, it might contain some important information about his past. Our oh, past. Or maybe something that can help us locate the constant. One of Janus's many diaries. He's apparently been the chairman of the Ark Society for years. He stepped down very recently, but is still attached to the Society. Well, 47, this is valuable information. And Mr. Wilson just keeps standing behind the grill, even though there's clearly no more gas on it. I know, it's weird. Why doesn't he go grab a new canister? I'm telling you, 
These new folks are strange. Did you see that Cassidy guy snooping around here? He's been looking at the party three times already. Why not just go inside? It's open to everyone. Yeah, he's strange, all right. Oh, maybe he's a vegan? I don't trust a man who can't eat a rare steak. Barbecue party, how suburban. Mm, my belly is rumbling a little. Want to go inside? Looks like everyone's right. invited. It would be a good time to coach some information. Yes, it was. Yeah, command, there's some kind of fracas down here. I'm having a look around. Interesting. Drop off the surveillance tapes on Janus at the house. Cassidy was out. Yeah, headed them to the farm. The surveillance in the attic. Bring the tapes over to HQ and review them there. The recorder is perfectly capable of playing the tapes as well. Want to just keep them here? What? Risk the honors mm. of this house? Something coming home. Cassidy is certainly keeping a close watch on Janus. I'm willing to bet those surveillance tapes hold interesting information.
Excellent. This confirms that Janus and the Constant will meet up soon. I don't think we'll be able to identify the partners today, but this is very useful. The tape doesn't specify where that meeting will take place, however. We need that final bit, 47. So, we know that Janus is expecting to leave Whittleton Creek via helicopter, and that he's going to meet the Constant at some event. I think it's time to look inside Janus's house for more clues. Good work, 47. We now know Janus is meeting with the Constant at an event related to the Ark Society. And we have an approximate date as well. I think that's all we're going to get. We're close to the finish line. It's time to end this. Excuse me, sir, are you a registered voter? Have a fly. Read more about Charles Blake III and his politically flexible blackness. what that was.
did this, you better tell me right now, mister. Nicely done, 47. This should keep things nice and quiet inside the house. Command? Anybody there? Come in! I've got a body on the ground. Sounds good. A letter from Janus to someone called Zoe. It looks like a draft, and is full of explicit descriptions of how unhappy Janus is with Zoe and his sister, having been appointed chairwomen of the Ark Society. Huh. I've heard that name before. This is a good find, 47. Nolan Cassidy is down. Good work, 47. Janus awaits your attention.
fact about you guys, you're just so chill. Not like Jen. I have never met a man so full of bile. I mean, I'm just trying to help him, and he's behaving like a complete ass. All right, I better go. You know, it's like he knows that I know that he's hiding something, and he's enjoying that I can't figure out what it is. I know it sounds crazy, because he looks like any fragile old man. Damn. Jesus, who's breaking stuff? There you go. You know, it's like he knows that I know that he's hiding something. Hmm. Okay. Yep. You know, it's like he knows that I know that he's hiding something. Whoa. You stay here. I'll take a look. Okay, but, but you be careful. You know, it's like he knows that I know that he's hiding something, and he's enjoying that I can't figure out what it is. I know it sounds crazy, because he looks like any fragile old man. Clear here. I think... No, I'm sure. I'm a professional. No need to worry. I got this. Oh, thank you. Anyone there? Answer. What I like about you. Okay. Okay, now come on, who's doing that? Hey! Ah! Excuse me. This is just standard procedure. Thank you. New guy, huh? The regular guy is indisposed. 
I'm here to take care of Mr. Janus. All right, just ring the doorbell. Someone will be with you in a moment. How are you? Who are you? Where's Lafayette? He's not well. well. Hopefully it's something serious. I wouldn't mind if Lafayette was replaced permanently. He's an insufferable bore with a room temperature IQ. But if you're the new guy, you'll need to be on time. I have a busy schedule, you know. You have a very distinct face, my friend. Eastern European, am I right? But more than that, a refined mix of cultures. You look almost like an artist's rendering of the perfect man. I knew a man once. A doctor. He would have found you quite interesting, I think. fills his lungs. I'd like a quick word with you. Please, come with me. All right, new guy. I know this looks like a relaxed operation, but I run a tight ship. Nobody gets alone time with Janice unless I know them, and I don't know you. So here's what I'll do. I'm going downstairs to run a security check on you. It should only be a few minutes. In the meantime, you wait in the study. We'll lock the doors and my men will make sure you don't accidentally wander off. I'm sure you understand. Please, wait in there. 47, you have to find a way out of there. I can't possibly construct a viable ID for you in time. I'll have Miss Hall remotely interfere with their search, but we can't keep it up for long. Well, that was certainly an interesting turn of events. Still, no rest for the wicked, 47. You could probably slip back inside and give Janus his health check while his bodyguard is busy. Just be mindful of the patrolling guards. I'm back. I suggest we go to the bathroom now. All right. Let's go then. Have a nice day.
Nicely done, 47. It's time for Janus to pay for his crimes. You know, you remind me of The actions of the first constant catch up with you. Death feels like an easy way out for a man like James. Still. We are close now, gentlemen. Both targets are dead. All mission objectives are completed. 47, once you've left Whittleton Creek, I will notify Providence of our discovery. In the meantime, we'll go over the clues you found. Once we've located the constant, We'll make our final move. You make it sound so easy. The Ark Society, one of Providence's more obscure outfits. I've heard whispers. A survivalist club for the global elite, billionaires preparing for a global collapse. And now we know the Constant will attend their next gathering. So where is it? That's the catch. The report is redacted, no names, no location. So it's a dead end. I can't track them, not without ICA backup. Now, I'm no big shot analyst, but it seems to me Janus was the Ark Society's founder, so chances are they'll want to pay their respects in private. Track the coffin. Worth a shot. You all right? It comes back in flashes. Fear, anger, but... Like it happened to someone else. <laughs> your gift and your curse. What they did to you. Well, I spent a long time feeling guilty about that. Now, I wonder who got the better deal. Yes. Found something. What are we looking at? The ass end of nowhere. 
but this is where Janus's remains were shipped to. Our choice for a final resting place, wouldn't you say? Not bad. So we stake it out. Await the next gathering. Then we waltz in and kidnap one of the world's most powerful men. Without ICA backup. Like I said, it's a long shot. We'll take it.